The Olive Festival in Oroville kickstarted its 12th year celebrating the impact olives have had on our economy. Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper was there and shows us how the festival is raising money for an important cause. It takes a lot of work to keep a house of this age over 100 years old, built in 1911. It's hard to keep it up. The Olive Festival is filled with dozens of vendors and raffle prizes. Butte County Historic Society board member Nancy Brower says hundreds came out today to learn about the importance and history of olives. Frida Eman was a German immigrant who had moved to California. Her son inherited an olive orchard in payment for a bad debt, and she decided that she needed to make something out of it. That something is a black olive you know today. Before Eman, olives were a murky brown color with a bitter taste that most people at the time only used for oil. But after Eman worked with a UC Berkeley professor she met through her daughter, the black olive was born earning Frida Eman the title Mother of the California Ripe Olive and millions of dollars. But now the home she lived in, being 112 years old, is in need of major repairs, forcing Butte County Historic Society board members to close off sections of the historic home. The stairs themselves are, are an important part of the story and it was hard, uh, it, it's hard to tell the full story when you're missing features like um, the corner pieces, the little golden dustbuster pieces, those were invented by Mrs. Winchester of the Winchester Mystery Mansion in San Jose. Not just local history, but state history, and that's just in one little corner of these stairs here. And there's much more history, just a short walk up those stairs, now closed off to the public. Tour guide and board member Daniel Ballard tells me repairs are needed for plumbing, electrical, and much more that are essential for both visitors and tour guides. Vice President for the Butte County Historical Society, Larry Motch, told me that in the last 12 years that they've put on this event, they've typically brought in about $10,000 for repairs of other historical sites that they maintain. I'm Lauren Cooper reporting in Oroville with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. The Butte County Historic Center is hoping to raise $100,000 to help repair the home.